Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! It is 2018. Can you imagine? Gosh, 2017 was an incredible year. I enjoyed it so much, but I am so ready for 2018 and really excited for everything that God has in store for us this year. As you can see by the title of this video, this is a life update. However, it is also the first video in a brand new series on this channel. That is right, I introduce you to you, I welcome you to you, I ask you humbly to join Tea Days. It's not Tuesday no more, it's a tea day. Tuesday tea, tea on a Tuesday, me and you, down for a cuppa. Speaking of which, I'm gonna pour one right now because I'm actually like so down for a cuppa as I just kind of chat to you about what this series is gonna be about and why I really, really wanted to do it, especially at the start of this year. If you wanna pause the video and grab yourself one too, feel free. During the new year, you kind of get that buzz, don't you, that new buzz of like fitness goals and all these things that you wanna achieve and we all work really hard. Oh, that's a strong brew. I like them strong. I like them strong. We all work really hard, we set new goals, we make resolutions. That's amazing, that's freaking awesome. And something that I love doing myself. I do have a sugar in my tea. I kind of used to not have a sugar, and then I started again. I could go without, but today I'm feeling like treating myself. I only went and forgot a teaspoon, didn't I? I'm an echo. BRB, you're just gonna grab it, yeah, a teaspoon. Quality cup of tea. Anyway, as I was saying, um, in the new year, we get all these new goals and we set a load of resolutions and we try to achieve them, um, which I'm all for. I love New Year's resolutions. And for the first time in a while, I found myself not setting as many health and fitness resolutions as I have in previous years, which I've come to realise is a really good thing. It means that I'm on the right path for once. So I'm really happy about that. However, I definitely remember the years before when I set these same resolutions year after year and did not see them change or see myself achieve them. Now, I know that a lot of you guys will be in that same situation, setting these new goals with hope and passion and motivation, and that is so, so good. As I was reflecting, I realized that the reason I'm not setting those same old goals anymore is not necessarily due to physical changes, but more mindset and mental changes, which enabled me to actually live out my resolutions longer than January. And as I was thinking about this, I was reminded of so many comments and questions that you guys ask me um, about a load of different things from self-love and loving yourself like for real, um, confidence, body image issues, um, any supplements that I use, how do I stay passionate about working out, all these questions and I was like do you know what instead of giving you guys more workouts which I don't worry I'm definitely gonna do I will definitely be giving you more workouts recipes and stuff like that that I find amazing and that I find really effective I really want to share with you the things that I think made the difference for me I love the new year I love the fireworks I love the magic of it I love the enthusiasm the hope for change however when the clock changes from 11 59 to 12 a.m uh, 2018 you don't suddenly transform into a different person. There's no magical power when the clock strikes midnight. Um, we are still the same people that we were last year. Change is a process, it's not the clock striking midnight, it's a process and I'm here for it, I'm here with you guys, I'm still undergoing that process and I think that together we can do it really well. I wanted to set aside a time when we can actually chat about stuff because all the theory, you, you can get the theory pretty quick, work out, eat healthily. You know, you can get that pretty quick, but the the mental side of it, the side that really matters, the side that determines everything else, that can take quite a while to get through and to process and to chew. And so I wanted to make these videos and have these tea days with you where we just sit down, have a chat, have a cuppa about whatever topic it is that you feel you need at this moment of time in your journey. Whatever it might be, literally like life chats, we can chat about relationships, we can chat about work, life balance, all those things. I am here for and I'm here with a cup of tea. I want to hear your opinions, share mine and just like kind of grow together. Now the reason I chose for this to be a tea day is because a good cup of tea kind of solves every problem. Apart from heart disease and broken limbs, and debt, etc. However, if you got cold hands, just grab yourself one of these, bad boys. The reason I decided to make this first video a catch-up video was number one, I feel like we haven't had a catch-up in ages. Some of you might think I'm still in the US, and just, just a catch-up, I feel like we just need to, you know, catch up on where we are. Um, and number two is so that you can leave a comment and let me know what topics you would love to chat about. 
any supplements that I use and don't use, why I use them, why I don't, bulking, cutting, um, motivation, self-love. If someone leaves a comment with the topic that you want to hear about or a topic that you want to hear about, then just give that comment a thumbs up, leave a reply or something just so um, I can see which ones most people want to talk about and I will happily discuss, research and yeah, pour a cuppa. And without further ado, let's get into the life catch-up. Oh my gosh. Where did we even start? Okay, so we'll start with work. We'll start with the catch-up on work life. So as you know, I am a foundation year one doctor. Um, so I've graduated from uni and now a doctor. I did my first four months um, on colorectal surgery rotation. Uh, and now I've moved on to trauma and orthopedics. Um, I've loved the job. I've really gotten on with all my co colleagues all my colleagues I've really gotten on with all my colleagues and I think God's just blessed me so much with the people I work with they're so supportive um, and that's been wonderful there have also been some like honestly there have been some crazy moments I think some moments that I actually look back on and I'm genuinely proud of myself for uh, carrying on um, starting work like especially as a junior baby doctor is no joke and you'll hear horror stories and I'm sad to say that some of them can be quite true um I've had some of my most stressful moments since starting work most of them at around about quarter past two in the morning on night shifts <laughs> um however I think I've grown a heck of a lot since starting work I know that sounds ridiculous but like it really does mold you and shape you and make you stronger like once I got through my first set of crazy nights, the next set, I remember being like near breakdown. I, I haven't actually broken down, but I've gotten like pretty close to. I remember being close to like just completely losing it. And then looking at the time, I think I had an hour and a half left on my shift and just thinking this too shall pass. <laughs> and I just kind of carried on. I just kind of was able to like detach myself from the craziness of the situation, from the stress, from the pressure. And just carry on and, and do a decent job so yeah um, work is going well is my update on work another update and some really exciting news is that I am currently studying to become a personal trainer and this is something to be honest I've been doing since September I've been doing this well I signed up for in September I was gonna just qualify and then surprise you guys like hey I'm a personal trainer um, but it's taking a while it is taking a long time to do alongside a full-time job it's a lot it's a lot of work and time and man hours um but i'm really excited to become a personal trainer and um, it's something that i've been passionate for for a while and um, and as you know i'm all about education like education number one and um, i don't want to miss any tricks you know what i mean and um, a lot of the stuff that we're learning is stuff that i already know some of it's new and i love that and um, so yeah i'm currently uh, working towards qualifying as a personal trainer and what that will lead to in the future who knows but I'm super excited to get my qualification in that area education number one it, you can never learn too much um, and knowledge is power so yeah I'm very excited about that another thing to update you on is that I got my first car oh, oh I'm so pleased so I passed my driving test when I was 17 Um, I did it straight away I like begged my mum and dad, I was like, Daddy, please pay for, drive, pay for driving lessons. He spent a load of money on them. I passed first time, thank the Lord. I actually did my driving license test the day before I was gonna have surgery on both of my knees. So if I had failed, I wouldn't have been able to drive for another like, I don't know if it was like a good few months. I I think it was six weeks. It was not months. Definitely six weeks. But yeah, I'd had surgery on both of my knees, so I like had to pass this time. Anyway, passed my driving test. Really wanted a car. Couldn't afford it. Was going through uni. Was like, really want a car. Really want a car. Cycling everywhere. I was managing. I love cycling, so that was fine for me. Really good for my thighs. Then got to this point where I said to my parents, like, because I'd been asking my parents to get me a car, because obviously, like, student hashtag broke life, no money. Um, I was like, do you know what? I love you both so much, but actually don't worry about a car like I still want one obviously but don't worry about it I'm gonna I'm gonna get a job one day and I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna be able to afford one now, I worked all the way through uni I remember in my final year I did like I was doing night shifts leading up to my final year exams like, I've never been one of those people that doesn't work I've always had like always had a job um 
but I still couldn't save up to afford one. And so now that I'm in free accommodation, I can finally afford my own car. And so I went from being this 17 year old girl, like, oh my gosh, I really want like just a cute little convertible. I say just, they're quite expensive. I thought I was handling it well, uh, evidently not, because it's all just been pent up for seven years. And I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna get the biggest car that I can afford. I want the car to be so big that people worry when they see me getting inside, because they're like, she can't drive that in heels especially hashtag always wearing heels so yeah i got a suv hyundai tucson and i really enjoy it i enjoy the car i'm not going to pretend i don't love having a new car it is awesome i'm so grateful to god what i think i love more than like the stuff is the progression i'm like so so grateful to god that i went through those times of like walking everywhere and cycling and and knowing what it felt like to need and to make do and um, i'm also so grateful to see myself progressing and doing things like getting my first car and what really hit home to me was how proud my mum and dad were um they were just so proud of me and that like that meant more to me i know that sounds ridiculous obviously i love the car like i'm very grateful for it but that meant so much to me like they were just so excited, so happy. They cancelled their whole day plans to come car shopping with me. And then I took them out for dinner afterwards. And it was just a really momentous time in life. It was like, it felt like I was becoming a woman. Do you know what I mean? It was like, do you know what, Dad? I've got this built. So, yeah, I, I finally feel like I'm transitioning from student life to adult life. I want to encourage any of you students out there, adult life is not everything. Like, stuff is expensive. I haven't gone and bought a house and stuff yet. Um... It's not, you know, some crazy magical ride. However, stick with your studies, get your job, and and it'll be nice. So yeah, thank God I got my first car. Also, jokes, I did a first car photo shoot. <laughs> I did ask on Instagram if you guys wanted to see it. You said you did. I'll just put in some, like, clips of those photos here. Uh, but you can actually see those over on my Instagram. I was going for, like, Lara Croft, Kylie Jenner vibes. I haven't quite got a G-Wagon yet. Um, but, you know, we'll get there. I'm still a junior doctor, you know? This isn't the US of A, okay? We're not paid the same as all those American doctors, you know? Another update is that I've joined a new gym, which is incredibly exciting. Recently, a friend invited me to go to the gym with them, then another friend invited me to go to the same gym, then she joined that gym, was like, we should gym together, and I was like, do you know what? I should branch out. So I've joined a new gym for January, joined a new gym for January, whoa. Oh, I didn't even stutter. Did you hear that alliteration? I didn't even stutter. Anyway, so I've joined a new gym for January. Oh my god, and again, hot damn. <laughs> Aside from that, I had an amazing Christmas with my family. Um, I absolutely loved it. My little nephew, oh my goodness. He is definitely in our bloodline because the way he dances, he kept doing this thing around Christmas. He'd walk up to me and he'd be like, more. But by that he means more, and he means more dancing. And so I'm like, oh. So I put on some Afro beats on my phone. This is this could be like 7 a.m. And I give him the phone. He holds the phone. He puts it up above his head. And he just starts dancing, bouncing around. He's constantly ready to party. That boy, that boy, better watch this space. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing Christmas with my family. It was so much fun. Um, I shared quite a lot of it this year as well on Instagram and stuff. So hashtag follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And yeah, I feel like that is most of my life update. Thank you so much for tuning in for my first ever episode of Tea Day. Um, I hope you enjoyed having a cafe and a catch up with me. And please let me know in the comments any videos that you want, any topics that you want to discuss. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel and for being my internet friend. I will see you guys for another cafe next Tea Day. Bye. I'm just gonna add another sugar because this was a big mug. This is a big mug. Stop judging me.